The hive cluster is under attack. Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Predor Remastered. Today it's going to be Effort, an excellent Zerg player versus an excellent Terran player, Sharp. Here on Hidden Track, bottom left, it's going to be a yellow Zerg player. It is Effort. Bottom right, we got Sharp. He's playing white today. Hidden Track, such a very, very, very weird map. So, so, so weird. We've got High Ground, which is a feature of newer maps. We've got ourselves a natural here. And then your third base is, like, right here. I... You can put tanks here and shell the expansions. And I kind of feel like this is a Terran favored map, but Circuit Breakers is a Terran favored map, and Zergs can still win. So, Effort has a good chance here. And a center base as well, with two Vespine Geysers and eight mineral patches. It's a four player map, so there are a lot of places to expand before you need the middle here. Hatch first in it. Oh, hang on a second. Not hatch firsting it. With that drone, anyway. Scouting drone. Terror the Overlord moving out. And Steve the SCD dutifully working on a supply depot. All is well here on Hidden Track. Seriously, though. This third. So, so hard to hold against tanks. We will see if Sharp makes some tanks. I feel like he will. We've got Action watching. What's up, Action? What's up, SDF, SDF? No idea who you are. Terror the Overlord scouting out where the Terran player is. The drone can come back home. It's going to be a hatch first here because there's no proxies. As Terry has scouted. Hope everyone's doing all right. Just back from a dinner at my uh, mom and dad's house. They are doing great. We go to dinner at their house about once a week. Just kind of have a good time with them. Watch some football, you know. Shoot the breeze. See what's going on in their lives. I guess my mom <laughs> told me a story of a friend she has at work. She just does some, like, part-time work uh, helping elementary school kids with their insulin shots. She was a nurse for like 40 years, so this is what she's doing, kind of in her retirement. But uh, one of the ladies that she works with, there's your macro hatch, we're seeing this a lot in the current meta. One of the ladies she works with was like, hey, I'm turning 50, come to a birthday party at my house. And she's like, okay, great. So she's imagining, you know, just you know, kind of a modest house. My parents weren't super incredibly well off or anything, so. Shows up and it's like this incredibly nice house on five acres of land. Like, she's just really this incredibly wealthy lady. Her and her husband, like, she inherited a ton of money. He's got a really good job. <laughs> so there are all these people there with, like, really nice food and stuff. And she just got blindsided by this thing. Like, some people just live normal lives, man. But they have a ton of cash, it turns out. Anyway, she thought that was funny. I thought it was funny, too. Engineering Bay on the way. That is a little bit too early to deal with Muta. So we're going to do a plus one timing attack of some kind. Here from Sharp. We're going second racks here. It's Engineering Bay before second racks. Interesting build here. And an Academy before the second racks as well. He wants his upgrades fast. Look at this. This first hunter gas is going to go to plus one attack. There it is. Bam. Right on time. And then we're going to get uh, probably range before stim here. Stim before range. That's going to be more likely. Interesting. And yeah, first hunter gas goes to the lair. Second hunter gas going to the spawning pool. Everything is awesome. Everything is great here in this TVZ. Sharp doing some interesting stuff. Finally going for a second racks here at four and a half minutes. But yeah, that engineering bay working on plus one attack. Academy finishing up. Supply deep over for their supply. And what are we going to get? What are we going to get? I'm going to guess Stim. I'm going to guess Stim. As the first upgrade on that academy. Bam, there it is. All right. Stim on the way. Going to be a lot of Marines out. Engineering bay means we can build turrets whenever we want. Don't really need to start them 
until that spire is done. Once the spire is done and mutas start, you know, start growing out of these eggs, then yes, yeah, start building turrets. They don't take that long. They can be ready by the time the mutas get here. Throwing up one creep colony, just a little bit worried about some kind of an earlier marine, wow, marine attack. He's actually turning this into a sunken. That is a little bit of paranoia here from effort. I'm a little bit intrigued by it. Hmm. Well, whatevs. Spire's on the way. So obviously it's a ZVT. There's going to be mutas. We know how this works. We are uh, pretty on board with this whole darn thing, aren't we? Third base timing at about five minutes. Top left here for effort. Around 30 supply. Liking to see that. Says, okay, I got my links here. If like 20 marines pop out of this and I'm surprised by it. Well, I can make some links. I don't know if there's any saving that third base if that many marines popped out, to be honest with ya. Uh, I mean, the spire's not even done yet. Probably require more of a one base opening than a two base opening, though, for Sharp to pull that off. But range for marines, the follow-up after stim is done, that plus one attack takes forever, but it is getting there. No second gas, because we're SK turning this thing, at least for now. Again, we've seen in the current meta a lot of Zerg players going for a lot of Hydras. And then the counter of that for Terrans is to go for a bunch of tanks, in addition to the SK Terran that they're rolling with, which means as nine mutas come out, it's not really SK Terran anymore. What is the strategy called? I'll have to ask RJB about that. He probably knows. But yeah, range on the way. Look at that. Range finishing, plus one infantry, weapons finishing, turrets coming in. Like I said, same time with the mutas. Ten mutas are out. That is a scan. And the scan says, all right, we got four. Oh, no, just kidding. Canceling. Wow. So he does actually catch the cancel there. Muta flock. Muta flock. Looking all mutalisky down here. That's right. Killing a medic. Going after SCVs. Mm, jumping back in. Losing an overlord there. And losing a mutalisk or two. During that attack. Again, these marines have range, they have stim, they have medic support, they have plus one attack. These guys are tough. Tough brothers right now. Lurker aspect is coming in. Another overlord sniped, burned a scan for that, totally fine. Rebuilding these sunkens. Effort's like, hold on a second. <laughs> that Terran player shows up here. I want to have some sunken to fall back onto. Queen's Nest on the way. Yeah, this is just modern. This is modern ZVT in a nutshell, man. Who needs upgrades? We're gonna get a couple lurkers out. In the meantime, we're gonna go for a hive, try to get ultras out here, use our lings and mutas to try to delay these attacks. Right, muta stacking in the hands of effort, pretty good. It's pretty, pretty strong. Yeah, look at this, it's all okay. Three sunkins, yeah, earlier than this, but we're later into the game now. These guys have plus one attack. They've got stim. They've got all the upgrades. They have medics. Nice medic snipe, though. Again, targeting medics really weakens the overall power of this push. But, man. Five sunkens out? I don't know if you want to come in here. I really... If this was just a feint and just trying to make the Zerg player waste resources and drones on sunkens, but... It really seems like Sharp is deep enough into this that he wants to come in. I don't know if that I agree with this from Sharp. Let's see what we get here, huh? Oh, man. Lurkers and Sunkins? No. No. He's going to try to bait him in. Look. Oh, no. He's sending Lings down south. Where are you going? Just running south. Don't mind us. I guess you can sneak up over here. It's kind of fun. Going to try to jump on this little group and wipe it out. I think there's enough Zerg to do it, too. Ah, never mind. Effort says, no, I don't have enough Zerg to do that. Another scan of Rooney. And says third base is up. Cool. Well, there's gas up there. Wonderful. Muta's trying to get a little more harassing done, but I mean, they're not getting plus one attack. They're not getting added to their numbers at all. They're just here to try to kill as many SCVs as they can. Maybe not even really trying to focus on missile turrets all that much, but he did get one. That's nice. Yeah, Sharp recognizes I'm not breaking this. Not without siege tanks, not without a radiate. This is tough. Lurker sunken combo is brutal. Then Sunken's, or Lurker's here rather, at the third base covering that from effort. So, 
pretty good stuff here from Effort so far. Does he have the Hive? He's got the Hive. Going to Filer Mound as soon as that Hive finishes. Adrenal is a priority in here somewhere. These Lings have 0-0 zero, zero upgrades, but who needs... Well, Carapace upgrades on the way. There's your Adrenal. This is all going pretty well for Effort. Gotta say, where's your third base? We're at 10 minutes sharp. Where is your third? He's floating his factory too. Interesting. So he doesn't feel like he needs any tanks at this stage of the game. You're not floating your factory if you think you might need tanks soon. Or if you need tanks right now. So this is really a bit of an issue. Bit of an issue here. Well, Nidus Canal 2 for instant reinforcements at that third base if necessary. This could not be going any better for effort, I don't think. He's totally happy with this game. He can probably throw up even a fourth base up here if he wanted to. I don't know what Sharp could be able what Sharp's able to do to shut it down. Irradiate's almost done. That's game changing for the Terran. Zerg player has the advantage right now, but once Irradiate start popping, that is when the Terran starts having a pretty good time. Especially before Consume is done, but man, Consume is coming in too. So this tiny window where Irradiate is done. Consume is not done yet. How many Irradiates do you have to deal with this third base, you know? Another scan. Sees what we're dealing with up here. Sees two Lurkers stacked on top of each other. More Lurkers popping out of that Nidus. Yeah, I don't... Uh, effort caught wind of this group coming up. He knows. He knows what's coming, and he's going to be ready for it, man. Look at him stacking these Lurkers perfectly. Just, ah, uh, can't even tell how many there are there. Four of them, well, three of them now that that one's exploded. Top right base coming up here from Sharp for a third. I like that. Defending it pretty well. If there were more Mutas out, you probably wouldn't be able to defend it with this many Marines, but that's it. All the Mutas on the field right now are all we're going to have for a while. They don't have any, again, no attack, no armor. Just Mutas, just seven of them. Cannot deal with this many Marines with plus one, plus one, and range, and stam, and medics, etc., etc. Maybe if some lurkers got over there, they could shut it down. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Ow. See? Even that few marines, man. Factory on fire, but has a ton of its HP remaining. It's totally good. Dark Swarm is out. Sharp says, abandon contain efforts. Containment efforts, I suppose. Still three lurkers, top of the ramp. Science vessels are like, doesn't it take a while to get our energy back up, boys? Sorry. Really does. Is this a fourth base? Oh, it is. I'm liking this from Sharp. He says, if I can get a fourth base up before the Zerg player can get their fourth base up, I'm feeling all right. Feeling just fine. Plague on... Ooh, double science vessel plague. Pays... Did they throw down two irradiates on this defiler? Did they double irradiate him? Dark swarm before he dies. Yeah, Burrow's a lurker in once you're irradiated. You can't harm your fellows that way. Now well, look at this. Three basing Zerg. And where is this command center going? Just put it here. Nobody wants to expand here. This is death, apparently. We're long distance mining from this base, though, which is weird. Did this guy overshoot his target? Was he supposed to land here? And Sharp was like... Go forth, young man. Look, the command center's like, wait, what? Hang on. <laughs> it did. Ah, totally overshot. It was going to go here. Then it, for some reason, ended up up here. That's funny. Yeah, fourth base on the way. Dude, Sharp's delaying his own fourth base through some kind of a misclick. I don't even know. How do you even do that? How do you send it that far ahead of where you wanted to land this thing? That's hilarious. Dude, the science missile count is real. Ling Lurker run by into the natural base, killing a bunch of Marines. This Lurker's casually murdering SCV. He's got four kills to his name, doing all right for himself. Zerglings, boy. I mean, they have Adrenal, which is really nice. And they've got one Carapace. They're decent, decent, decent fighters, I guess. That Lurker dies to a radiation. Fire... Oh, I don't know what those fire bats are trying to do exactly. Dude, this is not breakable by this number of dudes. Get out of there. Get on out. So, yeah. Four basing Terran. Not even a four basing Zerg right now. This is bad. Oh, how do these Marines sneak up here? They 
They snuck up here through sneakery. That's what they did. I like it. See, Hydras. Are we going to give Hydras? Maybe this isn't going to be a Hydra setup. Maybe this is more... Whoa, one lurker's behind four marines down instantaneously. More marines coming in. Irradiates opening the volley here. Irradiates. Get out. Get away from the drones, irradiated friends. 150 to 130 supply. Listen, yeah, I was going to say, enough science vessels for boxer maneuvering. Ah, oh, but Burrow's been researched by effort. What a stud. Yeah, he's going ultras. He's not giving these hiders any upgrades, so this is definitely... Is he irradiating? He's radiating his own marines. What are you doing, you doofus? Get back up there! Oh, the irradiate count. This science vessel count is nuts from Sharp. This is some of the best TVZ I've seen him play. He's very solid, but I've never been kind of like overly scared of what he's capable of doing in a game, right? He's never seemed terrifying before like a lot of other Sharkraft players are, like Larva, you know, Flash, Snow, where it's just like, what can you do? Sharp is kind of feeling like that right now for me. Kind of like, wow, it's so on top of it right now. What do you do as a Zerg player? Radiate catches a couple more science vessels. Blah. Terrible, terrible stuff. Yeah, I don't, this sling attack's not doing anything either. This is, man, effort is just kind of struggling to find something. Finally, his ultras are out. He does find some damage here at the natural base. Good positioning by the Marines. Ultras bouncing around the outside. Not what they want to do at all, ever. Yeah. Yeah, that ultra got some kills. Extra thanks to the irradiate, but also very dead. Oh, more battle cruiser stuff. Okay. Look, man, the Battle Cruiser curse is busted. It's over. It's broken. I'm not even going to talk about it ever again. There is no such thing as a Battle Cruiser curse. We've seen too many wins with Battle Cruisers and CBTs over the last, I don't know, six months for me to even talk about it anymore. So, Battle Cruisers are out for Sharp. Let's see how they do. Look, they're being, ah, uh, see, they're being supported by stuff. Stuff that's going to die. So it's not the greatest of support. Five armor on these ultras plus one attack. No upgrades on the battle cruisers. No upgrades uh, in production here either. Yeah, I just don't see this base happening. Yeah, he cancels it. Burrows the drone. Says, nope. See, this is where it's just... You'll notice he's really avoided expanding to these locations because they suck. They're so bad for Zerg. All right, Adrenalings. Yamato's on the way. Grinnelings, Ultras, these bunkers be dying. Ling's dying to the Irradiate as well. SCV's taking Irradiate damage while you're at it. Okay, not bad, not bad for an Ultralisk. Yeah, check this out. Just continuing to kind of hang on to these bases. Make sure the Zerg player can't take them. And even if he wants to, it's going to be hard just to take them. 175 to 150 supply in uh, favor of Sharp. Huge army swinging up this right side. We got ultras just a little bit willy-nilly. A little bit just all over the place here, you know? Science vessels, scourge, enemies. Two science vessels down for two scourge. Incredibly cost-effective stuff. Radiated ultralisk getting... Man, just beautiful splashy splash here. Absolutely problematic for everyone. Battle cruiser, big swings, pretty good against ultras. Just the problem is the ultras are way faster than battle cruisers are. So having them stick around long enough for the battle cruisers to really hit them for a lot is not. Why do you keep sending like five lings at a time into this base? There are three, three marines here in bunkers. So many lings have been sacrificed at the altar of this setup over at the top right. I don't know what it is. Finally, effort getting a fifth base at this left side. Terrible expansion location for him. He can't be happy about this. Missile attacks on the way and group spines. So maybe effort's going to be moving into hiders a little bit later here. Oh my gosh, another forced cancel. 
Okay, how about this one? Treasure effort. Can I adequately defend it? Why does he keep sending lings over here? Ultras, yes. Send ultras up this ramp. There we go. Although radiated ultras clumping up are hurting each other a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Not surprised to see that end result there. There's nothing in this bunker. Get in the mineral line while you're irradiated. Do more damage than you can. Okay, Ling's getting nothing done. Ultralisk getting all of the work done. Okay, okay. Fourth base or fifth base here from Sharp dying. It lifts because there are no Hydralisks out. But yeah, that muscular augments on the way from the Hydras. As well as missile attack upgrade. He's trying to get into Hydras here to help with the battle cruisers, especially after they've been plagued like this. This BC's gonna have like no HP at all. None. And then the Mutas come in. Yamato catches a defiler, but no. Uh, Mutalisks take out the old battle cruiser. No, 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 no. SEVs, why are you here? Four only four kills on that guy. Could it be worse? Sharp just continuing to send Marines into the wherever the fifth base is for the Zerg player. You want a fifth base? You gotta fight me for it, says Sharp. And Effort says, okay. I guess I will then. Dark Swarm comes up, doesn't protect the building. I mean, radiates galore here. Really have not seen enough science vessels die in the first 20 minutes for this to feel good for Effort fans. So still denying the fifth base, which is fine, but the Zerg player is not allowed to get a fifth base either, so... Ow? That's right. Zero, zero battle cruisers, man. They come with three armor by default, which is pretty great against Hydras. These lings are dead. Let's see if they're smart enough to realize that. And they are not smart enough to re Oh, some of them were smart enough to realize it. Three of them got out of there. Uh, little groups of almost fully upgraded cracklings. Scary, scary stuff late game, man. Hydra count ample enough with plus one attack and plus three armor here. He's burrowing the irradiated hydras. Very smart. Still sacrificing lings to this altar of these bunkers. I mean, how many kills do these marines have inside these bunkers? It's got to be into the tens. Battle cruisers harassing this fifth base off effort. He still doesn't have a fifth. He's trying to expand over here. Battle cruisers are everywhere, causing all sorts of problems. It's a good map for BCs because they have tons of little dead airspace areas to flee to. This battle, see, you just hang out back here. Not all the hiders can attack you because they can't all fit in this tiny little area. Ah, oh, it's brutal. Ultras. Not irradiated. This is not a great look if you're a Marine, actually. Yeah, I mean, Ultras have been getting a lot of kills here today. It is 58 drones to 51 SCVs. Effort's got a minor advantage, but man, fifth base is up. Is it really up? Ooh, these Hydras. Science Vessel's getting a little bit too close to the sun there. Oh, this battle cruiser. I don't think he's going to be able to finish. Well, hang on. 80, 60, 30, 12. Got it. And does he escape with his life? No, but he got the hatch. No sixth base for you ever. Five bases only. Guess what? Sharp has his fifth base back. This base is everything right now from Sharp. This is allowing him to have the economic advantage that he's been looking for. That you're always trying to get on a Zerg player, you know? Effort has sort of half-heartedly tried to kill this base, but hasn't been able to come close to it. Dude, this denial of this fifth base... What did I say about this map? It's so bad for Zergs. But you know what? Effort? Figure it out. I think he needed more Scourge faster than this. He needed more Scourge with the Science Vessels, more Scourge for the BCs. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard when you just don't have a fifth base to have the income you need to deal with a five basing Terran. It's basic math, but I think it's gonna hold up. Five kills on that fire bat. Hatch down. No fifth base today. That is Sharp's mantra. It's like 
Uh, American football coach will say no first downs. You talk to your defense. Don't give him any first downs. Um, I guess if you're a soccer coach, you say uh, something else. What would you say to your guys to get them a strategy, right? No goals. Oh, gosh. So this is a drone massacre. 48 drones remaining, 51 SCVs. Okay, Sunken Town, USA is still a major problem for you guys. Even if you have 3-3. Just going to point that out. Yeah, he wants to come in here and kill this to space. Of course he does, but yeah, no, says Effort. Nice surround, but okay. Gosh, this hatch. Oh, that Ultra comes in with no HP after getting irradiated. Dies immediately. Effort is alive, right? He's surviving, but barely on four gases. I mean, this is... Mineral count on the fourth is not looking good, or the fifth is not looking good. Did I say four or five gases? It's definitely five gases. Although, I jinxed it. It's four gases again. Hang on. Hang on. Dude, seriously. Why do you keep sending inadequate numbers of lings to attack this base? Are you a madman? Do you not understand how bunkers work? I don't know. I mean, okay, this looks like enough to bust it. That's a canceled, canceled, not canceled, just dead. All right. And then, oh, well, I thought he had enough to bust it. He disagrees. Effort says that base is cursed. Uh, it's probably mining out anyway. What do I care if it dies? I don't know. I feel pretty good if it was dead. A little drop attempt. Here, Defiler gets sniped. Oh, dropship dies. Everybody dies. Get up here. Take out this drone. Attack a building or something. Stop attacking drones that are inside Dark Swarm, you crazy person. Okay, well, no. Nah. And again, Science Festival Count is just so hot and heavy. The radiates are everywhere. Overlord don't have speed, which seems... I don't know if it's a reason that Effort is losing this game, but it's not great. 153 to 96 supply. Okay, really good plague. We've actually not seen a ton of amazing plagues on Marines today. I guess he's been using them for battle cruisers and science vessels, which I can understand that. That makes a lot of sense to me to use plague on those units instead. But man, when Marine groups get plagued, it just makes your life as a Zerg player that much easier. But man, Shark just got up to five bases. Is macroing like an absolute boss. The science vessel count is insane. We've seen a bunch of them die, but for him to have seven at this stage of the game is amazingly useful. Okay, irradiated ultra killing a ton of. Mer Look at these things die. Look at them die. Look at them die. Okay, that was terrible. That said, fifth base under attack. This plagued group of marines. It doesn't mean they died. Hatch down, man down. 171 to 93 supply. Another smallish group of lings. Considering busting up here. You guys, you've tried this already. Stop doing that. Oh, yeah. Thrones just being like, wait, do we? Where do we go? Where is safe? All right. Oh, he dark swarmed this time. Hey, he got a good dark swarm. Hey, he did it. He busted top right after seven attempts over 20 minutes. He's going to shut it down. Effort, hooray. I mean, you're four base in it right now, which is just abysmal economically. 38 drones to 50 SCVs. Lings come back up to just force a lift off on this command center. If nothing else, kill a couple more SCVs. Okay, uh, stop attacking into these sunkens. God, there are still lurkers here too. Stop it. Just You don't have to kill that to win this game. Woo, look at this science vessel. 11 science vessels. This is Flash-esque. That's what you get when you have five gases you're working from as a Terran player. You can make a ton of science vessels. And if you're not making tanks, you can make a ton of science vessels. This is working. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 160 to 60. Okay, you're down. When you're down 100 supply in a game of StarCraft, you're done. There is there is no coming back from this. I, you, could, you could dump Flash into Effort's position here, and I still think Flash loses this game. His Zerg is pretty good. Okay, fine. Jadong. Put Jadong. 
into this Zerg's position, into Effort's position, and see if it works out. Sick plague, though. Holy crap, that was a sick plague. These poor Firebats. They were not meant for this. Effort, long distance mining. Oh, gosh. Drones found your long distance mining operation, friend, and uh, you're dead. GG! Sharp! Is your winner in 30 minutes and 6 seconds? The battle cruiser's looking good. Science vessel count high. Five bases to four bases for the Zerg player. And Sharp gets the win here against Effort. Who's probably the better player. But man, this is one of the better games. Man. One of the better games, right? Uh, I've ever seen from Sharp. I think we need to cast a little bit more Sharp games, don't we, Terran fans? That was amazing by him. Yeah, try to get into Hydra's a little bit later. I don't know, was it too late? I still think more Scourge a little bit earlier than he was able to get him, but again, the lack of a fifth gas was a big problem in affording Lurkers, you know, Ultralisks, Cracklings... And a ton of Scourge on four bases is a little bit tough. This fifth base is just tough. It is so hard. It is so hard to handle. I called it. I called this map. I said, this is a nightmare for Zergs. I thought it was because tanks. But apparently it's just because there's two openings and there's no high ground. And battle cruisers can fly in over this little area and kill your drones. There's not much you can do about it. I guess that was the bigger problem in this game, huh? Yeah, look at him just, just put the... Well, I guess he expanded here, right? New command center, sixth base. Fifth base is lifted, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, man. Yeah, he took this as a third base super fast. And then he four based... Here, again, flying that command center up way past where he wanted it to be, which is hilarious. Wait, was I saying... <laughs> One, two, three, four... Nah, man, it was just four bases. Did I say the Terran player was on five bases like the whole game when he was not on five bases? Or was I saying four bases? I don't know. It's like 11 p.m. I have three brain cells remaining. I'm an old man. Bear with me if I said the wrong thing, but whatever. He had an economic advantage, right? Zerg player needs more bases to hang with the Terran player. So even if they were on even base count, it was good for Sharp, and it was. It was good for Sharp. As long as Sharp, uh, Effort never got a fifth base, Effort did not have the economic advantage at all in this game, and bam, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Sharp. 236,000 points for Effort, 256,000 for Sharp. Got out, produced, the Terran player did, but he got out, but he outkilled by a wide margin. Nicely done. It was, it was economy, is what it was, right? Effort did outspend Sharp by about 10,000 resources in 30 minutes, not great. Not overall enough, and it was the future of the game that was really more of a problem. Not able to get a fifth base whatsoever, and Sharp did have five bases at the end of the game, kind of, assuming that top right base was reclaimed, which it should be. So GG, well done. I think that was an awesome game from Sharp. Again, got to cast more of him, and that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw at what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.